All right, the boring bar's in. I've moved the camera so you get a better view of it. And I'll try it on this speed to start with, see how we get on. millimeters we're looking for. I know that's way off but that 35 for the bearings. I want to get this to about 34 and then I'll place the tidy it up after. See, that's 33.9, so I don't really want to go any further than that. We'll take it out to that and then finish it off.
it's in there. Bloody nuisance. We're at six and a quarter. I'm going to go to nine. Pull this back a bit, I think. There's not so much overing. Come down to about eight point eight point eight four. So little facing cut on that bottom now. millimeters that do me now we just got to do something about the uh, diameter just short of 33 at the moment Oh, 
I'm pleased with that. Right. They go and drill the mountain holes now. After we've marked them. So I've just marked this 10 millimetres in from each edge. Now I'm going to drill four holes, I'll probably only use two. I'm just going to centre punch them. Take it to the drilling machine and drill them. Hello, I'm just cleaning the lathe down a bit. I don't know whether this is going to jump straight on from making the base. It's a different day for me, it might just be straight on from the last bit in the video. I'm just going to clean the lathe down a little bit and then we'll get on with making the cutter block for the ball turner. Alright, just to remind myself a bit of what I was doing, I uh, made this base the other night to take this bearing. You probably want to see there. And tonight I'm going to get started on the cutter block. This bearing's got to be pressed into here. I don't want to do that until I'm ready to do it because once it's in there, it's not coming back out. So I want to turn this face this, turn it down to get a snuggish fit into this bearing. So I'll go ahead and mount this up in the lathe. I shall use my four jaw for it and indicate it. And I'll see you at the lathe. Right, that's to about two hundredths of a millimetre, less than a thousandth, that's good enough for me. Uh, this one's will be reasonably good because when I drill the hole, which is this is going to screw to the bottom of the base, the cutter and everything is going to be done on that, it wants to be pretty good. So, I'm going to face this off now. Put a cutter into the uh, tool holder to start with. Face it off, and then we'll start turning it down for the bearing. 